Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add signature in Freshdisk. A signature is a great way to add a personal touch to your support responses and provide important contact information to your customers. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of adding a signature in Freshdisk. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type freshdisk.com and hit the enter button. Of course, this will take you to freshworks.com slash freshdisk, so you don't have to write all of that, just type freshdisk.com and it will take you right here, right away. Of course, if you are not familiarized or if you're not, uh, if, if you don't know much about Fresh uh, Disk, you can always like go and scroll down. You will be able to read more information about us, as you can see, and you will be aware of a lot of stuff. So make sure to go and do that if you are not familiar, familiar, or you are not used to it. So of course you will have to go and log in into your account. You have an account. If you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on Start Free Trial to create an account. You can even go and log in or create your account with a Google account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. And of course, starting your free trial will give you like a 21 days, as I guess, of free trial. Yeah. And of course, then you will have to go and choose one of their plans, including the free or the paid, depending on what you want. For me, I'm just going to click on Go to Account. And as you can see, I have access now to my account of course for you can have your access to your accounts once you're logged into your account or just created your account as you can see as i saw as I said before you'll have to go and choose one of uh, their plans from here once your free trial expired of course you can go and choose the free plan if you want to but it will lack a lot of features so depending on what you are going to use uh fresh desk for that could be already good for you so, of course, once you access your account, you'll have to go to the admin settings. Simply go to this list panel and click on the settings icon, which is the admin settings. Of course, from here, you'll have to go and click or navigate to the email settings. Of course, you can simply go and look for it here. But if you don't want to waste your time, you can always use this search settings option. It is pretty helpful. So, you can simply go here to uh, the search and simply type email. And as you can see, we have here this pretty AI, uh, email bot, channels, email. So what we want, of course, is the channel email. So simply click on email right here. And then, of course, you'll have to go in the email settings. You'll have or you'll find various options related to email configurations. Look for signature section and click on it to configure your signature settings. So from here, you can, of course, add your new support email example or as an example, you can go and access the, sorry, so you can go, not this one, you can go and access the advanced settings and of course from here, you'll be able to go and add your signature and a lot of other stuff so you can go and do that by your own. You can of course customize your signature if you want to and you can even preview it and save it. Then of course you can test it on an email or something like that. You can send the test email to yourself or a colleague with the signature and check if the signature appears as expected in the email. And of course, other than that, you will be able to do a lot of stuff on Freshdesk. So if you go to the dashboard example, you'll find here, of course, this is not like real data. So as you can see, this is just a sample dashboard. You can, I can simply click on dismiss for like the real data. Of course, this is just like uh, fake or made up data and of course from here on the dashboard you'll also normally see the data as you can see here and of course you can click on like a new if you want to get a new email new tickets new contacts and of course new contacts new company and a lot of other stuff of course you can search from uh, like for some tickets contacts solutions forms or anything from the search option here as you can see and here you will find all notification that you can get from here of course you can go and get like the help or you can contact the support of the fresh desk or you can go and check like on the fresh work community if you're having some issues you can go and check there if like people like you having the same issues you can maybe go and find like solutions to that already did that people already answered or the customer uh, already answered so as you can see here it's like an exciting topics maybe uh, of course depending on what's the issue that you have 
And of course, other than that, you find here the Freshwork Academy status. You can even go and install the mobile app if you don't want to keep using the Fresh uh, disk always on your PC. Maybe like using it on your phone will be more uh, easier for you. Maybe if you're traveling a lot or moving a lot. And of course, uh, other than that, of course, if you click here, you can schedule out of office. And here it's going to be just the Neo Marketplace. You can find, of course, the apps that you can integrate with and here just going to be your account you can simply go to the customer portal or profile settings or sign out so as you can see from here it's going to be uh, some simple stuff of course from here you can manage your tickets you can simply go and uh, maybe merge the tickets assign it uh, close it uh, bulk the update scenarios spam or even delete it here of course you'll find just simply your contacts uh, your company here you'll find the solutions example uh, for like some questions you can see fact or frequently asked questions or gets started here you'll find the forums like people asking stuff and answers to it you can even go and add some topic if you want to if you're having some issues maybe your team or your members could help you with here of course it's just gonna be the analytics so nothing normally uh, should be here because it's just a fresh account but of course you'll normally like find things and here is just the settings admin that we just get into it of course this 3d ai uh, tool is uh, recently added to fresh disk and this will definitely help you in the future because the future will rely just on the ai so you can use this like auto triangle to use 3d ai to automatically classify incoming tickets this email bot as you can see send relevant help content to email queries using 3d ai assist bot will help you build step-by-step -step guide that agents can follow for faster resolutions or uh, this response uh, assist will let 3d uh, ai suggest to help articles and respond to agents when they draft a reply to customers and this uh, 3d um, of course it's just in beta but it's it, the ai engine to uh, this is an ai engine to for smart reply assist features uh, in your conversation and of course here you'll find other settings if you want to so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully added a signature uh, on fresh disk and of course your signature will be automatically added to your support responses providing a professional touch uh, and important contact information to your customer so of course the signature normally on fresh disk will not be like something like your name or something it could it should be just a link or a picture so that it could be added to the, all the emails it could be like also like a name that you can add the, to the last of the, the emails of all your emails you can call it as a signature so if, if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one and thanks for watching and we hope this tutorial has been helpful to you so i'll see you in the next video